Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Sunday, it is the 9th of April, 2023. So first of all, happy Easter to everybody. I hope you are all having a good day, getting to spend it with the people that you want and enjoying the day. Uh, it's beautiful today, as you can see. Clear blue skies, sunshine out. Uh, 60 degrees, I believe, is what we're hitting today. Pretty excited about that. Uh, the whole week is supposed to be just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I think I already kind of explained what was going on. Uh, tomorrow, I got the guy with the bobcat coming in. And so he will be here. And uh, we'll be doing that. Now, this here, okay, I want, I, I want to hear you guys' feedback on this one. There's a light breeze today, nothing major. Is it messing up hearing me? It, uh, hopefully you guys can still hear me okay. Because uh, like I said, it's a light breeze that we have here today, so it's not bad at all, but I don't know if it's affecting the microphone at all on the camera. So if you would let me know that, I would uh, appreciate that. But uh, anyway, uh, so what was I gonna say? So anyway, yeah, so I got that. He's coming on uh, Monday. I have the gravel guy set up. I talked with him. He will be coming on Thursday. Uh, it gives it that many more days for things to dry out even better. And we're like I said, we got a nice dry stretch coming here, which will be great. Uh, the next rain in the forecast is not until next Sunday, and so hopefully with what he does tomorrow, and then with uh, you know the roads and everything drying out, uh, it'll be good enough for when. Uh, my gravel guy comes and he'll be able to bring his truck right in and just continue on and work on hitting uh, what we need him to hit. And that's the game plan. So uh, we will see how it goes. <laughs> we will see how it goes. But uh, anyway, uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit about today because it's Easter. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, I, I wish that more people would take a day like today and extend it out. And use the kindness in the way that they treat each other today because of the significance of the day. Uh, I wish that they would continue that out uh, on an everyday type of basis. But it doesn't always seem to be that way. I, I will tell you what, I did nursing home work for a long, long time. Uh, did, uh, you know, did a lot of agency work, worked in a lot of different nursing homes. In the two days of the year where the families actually came in to see their loved ones, it was twice a year, folks. It was Easter and it was Christmas. And they'd make the big deal and, oh, mom or, oh, grandma, you know, the whole nine yards. And then you wouldn't see them again until, you know, like, like this is Easter, so there'll be a big bubble of who today. Uh, a lot of family coming in to see their loved ones. And then they won't see them again until December. And it's disgusting to me. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. I don't care what you guys think. But to me, you can't take... Uh, some time out of your schedule to go see the people that you care about. I mean, now, you know, when my dad ended up having to go into a nursing home, and granted, he was only in the nursing home for a couple of months, but once a week um, on my day off, I would travel out to the nursing home to go see my dad, uh, and it wasn't close to me. I mean, it was, a, it was like an over an hour drive uh, for me to get to where he was at. Um, my sister, Margie, went on a different day. So, like, I was going on a Tuesday, and then she would go on, like, Friday. So that that way it was split up, and then we would both be seeing him. So we, he would have family coming in to see him uh, that way. But, uh, yeah, it just, uh, you know, but these poor people get into these nursing homes, and they realize there's only one way out when they get in there. Once they're in a nursing home, the only way to take them out is on a stretcher. Okay, and that's the undertaker coming in, taking him out, uh, you know, and uh, it's sad. It's really, really sad, and, um, but uh, it's, it's part of life. But anyway, we should treat each other better. That's my thing. That's what I'm saying. Uh, we should be more humane to each other. We should treat each other with the respect and dignity that every human being earn, or is you know, not earned, but everybody should have. Uh, treat people the way you want to be treated. Uh, I think that's hugely, hugely important, uh, you know. And uh, 
as we get into higher stress, and I'm just seeing it constantly on people. I, it's just, it's, uh, it's actually quite sad. Uh, you know, people are just miserably unhappy. Um, and it's very sad to see. It really, really is because, you know, it's, uh, life is so short, guys. I mean, we only get so many years on this planet. And, and to walk around and just be miserable constantly, all the time, uh, that's a bad thing. That is definitely a bad thing. And uh, so, you know, again, if we treat each other with respect and dignity, uh, it goes a whole lot farther and go a lot, a lot you know, more towards everything else. But uh, it is amazing to me. Uh, it is absolutely amazing to me. And uh, so that's where we're at, you know. Um, I don't even know how to explain it any more than that. I just, I think that we need more kindness. Uh, you know, there, and there's a lot of people out there doing good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, a lot of people out there doing good. And uh, so, you know, that's that's great. But uh, I just think if we treat each other the way we want to be treated, uh, we'll, we'll all go a lot farther. We really will. So, I don't know, just like a day like today when everybody is kind of reflecting and, uh, you know, uh, celebrating the day. And obviously it's not about, you know, the Easter Bunny and, and candy. Uh, you know, that's for the kids, which is great. Uh, I love seeing that for the kids. I think that that's a wonderful thing. But, uh, you know, I'm going to walk over here again. I still haven't taken that cap off yet. I may do it today. But I'm going to show you guys this. So things are drying back out. But we have... And so I'm going to kind of show you where the well is at so here's some of this water here okay and there's some more there and the well is lined up right there so that water if it's leaking through underneath that would be through here so maybe i don't know i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna take that cap off uh, i am gonna take that cap off today and take a look at that but uh that would be cool. That would mean we got a lot more water than we think you know, in the well itself. So uh, that would be a really good thing. So we'll continue to see what happens with that. But anyhow, so that <laughs> that's where we're at. Oh, it's beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful today. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, like I said, the whole week forecast, and as we get later into the week, uh, you know, I think by Thursday we're in the high 70s. So I will definitely take it. I will take the sunshine. Uh, the batteries are already over. Are, they're at 100% already, so that's a good thing as well. So just uh, the solar's working great, and, uh, you know, that's what we're at. Uh, I definitely need to add six more panels. And six more panels will go right next to them on this side here, um, on this side, uh, and I would put them there, and uh, that would be that would be a perfect spot for them. So we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, guys, um, I will be live streaming tonight at eight o'clock normal time. So if you would care to join us, then now the wind is picking up. Uh, if you would care to join us, then that would be great, and we'll see you at eight o'clock tonight. Uh, so. Uh, we'll have a good discussion. Not sure what the to topic is going to be yet, but uh, we will figure that one out. Remember, folks, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. Also, remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it, nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I hope you all are having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.